Hey folks, Alex the eBay guy here at Beckley's RVs in Thurmont, Maryland. Here we have a Jayco Eagle 314. I'll put the weight and specs and everything in the ad. It's a decent shape for an older camper. Of course it's had, you know, it's not, not in perfect condition, but it's an older used camper. Somebody's looking for something for um, long-term stay, got a lot of people that need to go camping and you want a first camper or on a budget or something, this might be the right one for you. Um, it's corner bunk rear, corner, bunk, uh, corner bath rear, large slide out, aluminum sided, so it's gonna last a long time, keep it sealed up, aluminum campers last a long, long time. It's got a new battery on the front. Um, the propane tanks are out of date, so you will want to find some uh, either 20 or 30 pound propane tanks. Uh, it does have some gas left in it. Uh, the AC blows cold, the heat blows hot. It's like the front jack only goes in one direction, so you'll have to use a manual crank on that. It's got a wind cover here in the front for rocks. Three storage areas on the outside. Atwood six gallon water heater back there. I could not find the date code on the tires. Uh, there are two different types of tires on here. The front two are Turnpike and the rear one are Reliance. Uh, the Reliance ones don't look too old. The Turnpike ones, although they're not dry rotted, they do look like they're older tires. So depending on what you want to do with it, you may be uh, wanting to put new tires on. Oh, and then the awning. The awning works fine. Fabric is in decent shape. It does need a repair. On the bottom here, you'll need to fill in the screw holes and then run that those screws in. Uh, what happens is if somebody puts weight down on this uh, or grabs the awning up at the top and pushes down on this, it pulls the screw holes out of the wood here. Um, there are multiple different ways you can fix that. I, I would use like a PC7 epoxy, drill it and tap it and put the new screws in. But whatever you want to do is, is good. Walk in and you'll see why this has got a huge floor plan. Lots of floor space if you got pets, dogs anything like that no foul smells or odors um, it's had a couple leaks there was a small leak here in the corner but I don't feel any crunchiness or anything there was a leak around the antenna that you can see a little rippling there and there was a larger leak right here and right on the opposite side of this where the front cat meets it didn't go into the closet luckily um, so you might want to do a little cosmetic cleanup there um, and then the, uh, the front there um, it looks to me like somebody may have put new material down in there I don't think that's the way it came from the factory but either way then you got storage underneath the bed two slide out lockers uh, the floor seems nice and solid um, throughout uh, you got some sun fading from where the slide out comes in on the carpet uh, Formica countertops are in good shape a little TV area over here, double sink. You've got the triple stove with an oven down here. And that's a bigger of the two sizes of ovens for this era, by the way. Uh, microwave, I wouldn't have any luck getting the microwave to work. Oh, actually, maybe it's just the clock. Okay, microwave does work, it just doesn't show the clock. Um, Refrigerator, no foul smells, no ammonia smell, um, nice and cold. Had it running maybe two hours. Got a little pantry over here, another pantry down there. Corner bunks if you have some friends or kids coming to stay with you. Corners look good back there. This is a, a closet up on the top to store clothes on, but then more importantly, that's all your electrics and plumbing down there. And then your bathroom is in here. Floor is solid, nice and solid, and it's clean. Look how clean the uh, bathroom area is. You don't normally see that here. Um, also, the corner looks good up there. The shower I don't think was used very much. Uh, does have a newer shower head on it. Medicine cabinet there. Light bulbs need replacing up here in the light. And then you got this. And all the cabinetry in here, by the way, is solid oak cabinetry. This is back when they used real wood in the campers. This is not any type of laminate. This is real wood. All right. It's a lot of camper for the money. I'll put this up $39.95. 
um, up for auction. It will have a reserve on it, but um, be very low reserve. Nice wholesale unit. Somebody kept it in good shape. If you have any questions, call Alex the eBay guy, 240-405-7790. My name and number is in the ad. If you want to take a camp in this weekend or come take a look at it first, give me a call. Thanks.